here we are at Borjo Lake hike, but we are doing the summit today, so we are going up to 2,930 meters. Going two, another two. Um, let's go through the gate that keeps us safe from the animals, or keeps the animals from getting hit by cars. Come on, Peter. 7.4 to Borjo Lake. 9.4 to Harvey Pass. The picture of this gate is like, this is where we enter the fucking light Jurassic Park enclosure. Yeah, into the Jurassic Park enclosure we go. <laughs> Brush in here, well maybe not too thick. It's kind of weird and eerie walking through the Jurassic Park gates to get to the trail. The lady was telling me this is pretty well traveled, and it looks like it, but we're here starting at 6.30 and don't see anybody on trail. And I'm thinking that's either because people who do the 15k out and back to the lake, 700 meters up, they don't come until 9 o'clock or so. Maybe there's nobody else doing the mountain today, so... Ah, we're slower hikers, I'm sure we'll see somebody passing us eventually anyways. Getting our first view of the valley back there, where the highway is. Here we go up trail, some more of the same. It's pretty steady uphill for 700 meters to the lake. Got some Alan Jackson going right now. We're the first in the morning, so let the bears know humans are coming. Look out. So, we are getting our first shot of what I believe is Mount Borjo, or maybe that's down farther. A lot of the videos right now on YouTube aren't very descriptive or very long for this. So, anyways, we're pushing forward. I could be wrong. We'll see. We went up about 400 meters so far. Um, no signs of wildlife yet. Some birds scared us a couple times, but... Uh, I guess we're just babies or whatever, they flew out right in front of us. But, uh, anyways, on we go. First set of waterfalls on the trail. I have no idea what they're called. I'm sure by the time I make the video though, I'll have the name posted on there. Bing. Nice little trail. This is really nice. I don't know if a lot of people come here. It seems like yes is the answer to that. But they should, more should come than they do. Wow, this is beautiful. Careful, Peter. We get to look out over the valley right now, and we're actually quite higher than the stream we were just at. I can't see our other two in our group who are are hanging out at the lake while we go for the summit this morning. But I believe that is actually Mount Borjo up there. And it looks exactly like it. What do we got for tracks here? Let's see. We have human, 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 human. 
That's it. Footprints, and that's it. And a dog. And a dog, yeah. Yeah. In any case, there is Mount Bourgeois. 100% guaranteed. I was wrong the first time, this time I can guarantee that I'm not. So here is what I'm looking at right now. There's the trail to the right of that stream up there where we go up to the pass. And there's a uh, field here where possible bear sightings could be, but we don't see any, so. Anyways. So we uh, made Borjo Lake in uh, 2 hours and 47 minutes, which we started at 6.30 and we were thinking that it would take us 3.5 hours, so 10 o'clock was the cutoff. If we couldn't make it by 10 or 10.30, we wouldn't do the summit because we don't have enough time to do go way up there, come down, right? But uh, yeah, we made it. Everything's looking good. No signs of wildlife. Here we go. <sighs> Gotta be careful on these rocks. It's all scree. It's all loose. It's pretty steep actually. Here. Yeah, it's nice, feels nice actually. There's the pass, Peter. See it? Yeah. Up to your left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that?
This is like unbelievable. Oh, this is crazy, man. Yeah, 2311 or something, I think it was. Oh, we got a whole tour group there. Well. So we are headed up. You can see our uh, hiker friend who was with us at Borjo Lake. Way up there, the red dot. He clearly is more in shape than I am. Um, yeah, just straight up this back of the mountain here. No switchbacks, just fighter all the way up. It's supposed to be not too bad, no bunch of loose screw or whatever, but we'll see how it goes to the top of Borjo. 500 meters to go.
Lake where Neil and Taylor are waiting for us to come back down so we can all hike down together. A ways fast as you can see. Looks like a kilometer of, of hard hiking. Here is what we are looking at here, going across that scree slope. Not a slope to Sentinel Pass, but higher. The summit's right ahead of us. People are turning back. About the fifth one now turning back out of a hiking group from Calgary. Yeah, it's definitely higher, but it's more forgiving than Sentinel Passes. So we're gonna give it a go. Oh, he's not coming back. He's done. That's the guy from the lake. Clearly superior to me in fitness level. Be careful how you step on these rocks, okay, Peter? You would want them to slip and the, the rocks start rolling or whatever. Just uh, come up and around here as much as you can. There's a couple I stepped on, maybe I shouldn't have. But they're heavy, so they're forgiving. There's Borjo Lake. I see him. I see my friends standing down there. <laughs> Just chilling out down there. Wave my hiking pole, see if they see. I doubt they'll see though. I can see them, but they have to be looking this way this exact second to see me. Go stand there for a minute, Peter. Stand there for a minute, just like, you know, stand right on the edge, but just like within five feet of it. So here is what appears to be from afar the most difficult part of the trail, or the scariest part of the trail. things are in the mountains, they look scarier from afar than they are when you're actually putting your feet on them. right there. How many did 
that's self. Oh, it's self over there, yeah. No, temple over there. Wait a minute. That's kind of east, so that's west over here, actually. We peak over there, in the clouds and snow on top, way in the back is Mount Assiniboine.